Well, here we go. The Giants make a move for a running back. And I'll tell you what, it's not a Saquon Barkley by any means. But, you know, they pick up John Runnin, a very good, you know, pass blocker, left guard, right guard, and then go out and bring in Devin Singletary. Now, listen, according to Adam Schefter, their compensation the Giants are giving former Texans running back Devin Singletary three years, $16.5 million worth up to $19.5 million at the very potential, very top, right? Now, Devin Singletary is an interesting player, probably coming off... You know, a decent season splitting carries in Houston uh, with Damian Pierce. You know, uh, we're going to talk all about it in a second. I feel bad because it's not a Saquon Barkley type of option. But here in New York, you might see you might see a couple of things happen. Maybe they draft another guy. Maybe they you use Eric Gray finally or Gary Brightwell. Uh, very interesting move by Devin Singletary. But let's hop right in and talk a little bit about him. Now, Devin Singletary last season played all 17 games or uh, tallying up 216 carries over 898 yards, four touchdowns while averaging 4.2 yards per carry. So over his career, the man has been pretty decent, very solid in terms of yards per carry. He has never averaged less than 4.2 yards per carry. This season was probably his worst. Uh, or not probably, was his worst in terms of yards per carry. But honestly, he had a pretty good season. A career high in yards, um, as well as, you know, four touchdowns this season as well. And then you look at the receiving game, brought in 30 catches for about 193 yards as well. Now, listen, at the end of the day, you're not going to be able to find yourself a Saquon Barkley. Uh, there's just not too many guys out there that you could that you could bring in. Uh, Devin Singletary gives you a couple of different things, right? Uh, he allows you to draft the guy and, and go, uh, you know, a dual threat running back combo or you can have him be your your bell cow maybe a little bit uh, at the end of the day i don't think he's a bell cow at the end of the day i think he comes in here he's gonna play a little bit but he's gonna you know split carries with either gary braywell eric gray jay sean corbin deon jackson whoever it may be right um and maybe they even draft a guy that comes in and, and helps him as well but at the end of the day devin singletary is an okay pickup now, as we get into some film here, I will say one positive thing about Devin Singletary, which is quite the opposite for Saquon Barkley, is he is not injury prone. He's played 16 or 17 games over the past four seasons. He never gets injured, right? So he's someone you can rely upon to stay healthy as well as be relatively productive, right? One of those underrated running backs doesn't want too much money, but also can give you a, a good level of productivity, right? In last season, the Giants ranked... 20th in yards per rush that number is going to go up right they're going to average more yards per carry because Devin Singletary is productive he is a solid running back right uh they're also ranked number 16 in rush yards per game I expect that to go up a little bit as well I understand losing Saquon hurts a lot but I think Devin Singletary again he is productive on the ground they also ranked 24th in rushing touchdowns per game now listen that's where Devin Singletary doesn't come in he's not that guy but Eric Gray you know, got them big legs, right? He's a bulldozer. I think Eric Gray could be someone they want to utilize going into next season, and that definitely could be a possibility. Now, I think Devin Singletary does a really good job staying up on his feet, making guys miss, but also, you know, keeping plays alive for the most part, right? Breaking tackles, third and 15, almost gets a first down and gets him into fourth down territory down by 13, right? Big play there by Devin Singletary. And then we get to the next play here, fourth and one. Let's see what he can do. Can he uh, convert on these, uh, you know, small down territories? Fourth and one, gets up, bees patient, right? Sees a hole, hits it hard, and fights through there for a first down. This, These are the things we want to see out of him. But I feel like the biggest thing for the Giants right now is what do you do at quarterback? Daniel Jones is on a massive extension. Um, you know, you can't really go out and bring in a guy like Russell Wilson. He's gone, obviously. Kirk Cousins is gone. You could bring in Justin Fields. But at the end of the day, you're not bringing in another quarterback to start right away over Daniel Jones. I think you have to give Daniel Jones at least one more year to see what he's got. Especially since you bring in John Runyon, a, a guy who can really protect the quarterback. I feel like you have to give him at least one more shot. Again, another great get, uh, ground uh, run here by Devin Singletary. Watch how he stays low to the ground, right? The reason is he is trying to hide uh, hide from these guys in the second level, but also he's trying to keep turning these legs, right? He wants to be unpredictable, but as well as he wants to be a bulldozer. He wants to get through guys, uh, gets through this defense, makes a great play there, and uh, again, Great job staying on his feet, breaking tackles, getting up there for a nice pickup. Devin, Devin Singletary, an all right pickup. It's a little bit awkward just because it's not Saquon Barkley, but at the end of the day, it's not 
bad. It's not bad. The most important thing is they need to shore up the rest of this team, starting with probably the DB room. Adore Jackson, Xavier McKinney gone in free agency. Xavier McKinney going to uh, the Green Bay Packers. What do you do at safety? What do you do at corner? Um, and then from there, you still need another offensive guard. So there's still room to grow. What will they do next? Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, join the family. It is free to subscribe, by the way. It won't cost you anything. And we'll be posting Giants or uh, yeah, Giants videos for the rest of the season. So join the family. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.